Taking us straight across to Krishna Menon Mark, where the late former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Vajpayee's procession is being uh, taken to the BJP headquarters. A huge uh, crowd of supporters and well-wishers of the former Prime Minister will pay their last respects uh, at the BJP headquarters in New Delhi. Atal Bihari Vajpayee very fondly remembered as the poet, orator and a stalwart politician of the country. This funeral will be held in the evening today at 4 p.m. India time in New Delhi where uh, politicians from across the country and the globe will also be part of that funeral procession. It is estimated that over 5 lakh people, including VVIPs, politicians and dignitaries, uh, will be present at the BJP party office as well as the Rashtra Smriti Sthal near the Rajghat today. And more than 2,000 Delhi armed police and the paramilitary force along with the country districts, uh, Central North and New Delhi will be on the ground to make sure that the funeral is conducted smoothly. Former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Bajpayee breathed his last yesterday in New Delhi at Ames Hospital around 5 past 5 p.m. A sombre mood in the nation as government offices including other organizations also declaring a holiday along with schools and other institutions to remain shut today. A seven-day mourning period has been declared in the country. Former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee passed away on Thursday. He was battling a prolonged illness at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. He was admitted in the hospital on 11th of June, but the doctors had been taking care of him. It was just 36 hours before his demise. And he was put on life support systems and his health condition remained critical. Joining us live on the program is Siddhan Sibal, who is live from New Delhi at the BJP headquarters there. Siddhan, the mood is, uh, of course, somber, where supporters gather in huge numbers along with politicians and uh, members across uh, the political parties also paying their last respects to the late uh, former prime minister there. Well, yes, I'm standing at the ruling BJP head, uh, BJP's headquarters where the Indian Prime Minister and the BJP President Amit Shah has arrived. Uh, shortly they arrived and the procession of the former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee has begun from his residence uh, at the Krishnan, uh, Krishna Menon Marg and it will be arriving shortly here. It's a grand procession you can see live on your television screens uh, with uh, all this uh, ceremonies uh, being uh, done. Uh, focus now will shift to the headquarters here where his body will be kept. Uh, the Prime Minister is already present here. His body will be kept from like uh, shortly uh, after 15 minutes and from that time till around 1.30 after which a grand procession will take place uh, fro, uh, through the cities of Del uh, through the city of Delhi uh, of, of, uh, where a lot of people are expected to come already a sea of humanity has surrounded the headquarters and people are not only thronging the greats but many supporters have come inside who have been uh, given uh, uh, the, the the place where they can sit and of course pay their last homage to the former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee meanwhile we are also getting reports from Pakistan and other South Asian countries that their uh, uh, foreign ministers their representatives have uh, are and of course have left the country to come here and they will be at uh, the cremation at 4 p.m. at the Smriti Sthal which is uh, a short duration from the location where I am standing and across uh, the country right now people are of course grieving the loss of the former Prime Minister but also discussing his legacy a legacy that has left 
a strong imprint on India and its foreign policy, uh, a legacy that uh, will be remembered for a long time. A foundational change in the legacy, a Democrat, a person who believed in consensus, a, belie a person who believed that there should not be any war between India and Pakistan, but both the countries should uh, live together peacefully. He, he uh, uh, also had uh, summits also, which everyone knows about, uh, the Lahore summit, the Agra summit, uh, uh, reaching out to Pakistan uh, and of course making India a nuclear superpower, a person uh, who, who, whose legacy is right now being dissected and dwelled upon by so many people, a person who, who will be remembered for a long time and uh, maybe uh, after, after 50 years or 100 years when the history of India will be written, the history of modern India will be written, uh, there will be a full chapter devoted to this person who brought about this foundational change in the Indian foreign policy and Indian governance policy. Absolutely, Siddhant, and the nation is bidding farewell to their beloved uh, former Prime Minister Adal Bihari, watched by the UC on your TV screens. The final procession is uh, taking place where his uh, mortal remains are being taken from his residence at uh, Krishna and Mark II, the BJP headquarters in New Delhi. And Siddhant Sibyl continues to stay with us on the live program. Siddhant, you're there at the BJP headquarters. The who's who is going to be there uh, to pay their last respects uh, uh, there at uh, the, the place where the mortal remains are being taken to at this point in time. Certainly, uh, the mood is grim. The nation is mourning. Uh, what, uh, what do you gather from there where you are at the BJP headquarters? Well, uh, yes, the nation is burning and a lot of his supporters have arrived here uh, to thronging the grates and a sea of humanity can be seen uh, from the location where I am standing uh, uh, outside the gate. People uh, uh, chanting uh, slogans uh, that long live uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee and uh, 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 also uh, uh, now the focus shifts uh, on uh, uh, the procession and of course the cremation that will take place. Uh, uh, Nepal, uh, Bangladesh and uh, Sri Lanka uh, they are sending their foreign ministers uh, and the Pakistani delegation will also be arriving. Uh, right now here what is happening is uh, all the Last moment preparations are taking place. Uh, uh, no, number of cabinet ministers can be seen uh, uh, at the location who are doing the last minute preparation. And of course, uh, 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 there are Hindu bhajans we, which which can, which are being being sung uh, at the location where I am standing. And also the uh, the, the Indian national flag has uh, uh, ha is is has been raised, but it's on half mast because a seven day mourning period has been announced. But uh, uh, if if we talk about the legacy of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He's a man who will be remembered in uh, every uh, sense possible in, in his work done in governance, his work done in infrastructure of the country. The golden quadrilateral was his idea, uh, his work done on other spheres. He was also the foreign minister uh, under, under the Janta uh, government and he was the first foreign minister to speak in Hindi at the United Nations. He was a person in a sense who, who is responsible for the current government having that majority. Uh, remember after the Janta government lost in the late 70s, uh, he it was restructured into BJP and BJP just got two seats uh, in early 80s elections and from those two seats to the current stable government in the parliament is all his uh, his his legacy and that is why he's kind of a patriarch uh, for uh, for for the party the ruling party here in India and that is why uh, the focus uh, also on the fact that uh, a person who who is a uh, who's a father figure for this this party and also uh, other leaders also uh, paying his respect the the chief ministers of uh, Bengal uh, UP uh, Delhi also paying his respects uh, remember he's he was a person who was respected across party lines uh, it's it uh, it's it's in an acrimonious environment usually it's Congress versus BJP or a certain party was a certain party but he was a person who was uh, uh, given uh, given respect and welcome by all the parties uh, really we you find such a person across the uh, across uh, uh, the Indian politics uh, the last name I can remember is Pranam Mukherjee perhaps but that is why this person gets so much of respect so much of love by not only the Indian people but the Indian political class here in India and uh, if we talk about his other legacies uh, the biggest legacy perhaps being his relationship with the United Nations we spoke uh, with uh, the uh, the current US ambassador and the foreign secretary under uh, his government Lalit Man Singh who became India's ambassador to uh, US who talked about how he was responsible for making sure that the relationships uh, flowers and today the 
uh, the positive development which is being talked about, the positive trajectory which is being talked about, uh, its foundation was uh, uh, was done by Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He reached out to Clinton administration. He reached out to Bush administration. And today we know that uh, India and US are best or best. Uh, partners uh, but uh, it's not only us but also russia also he he made sure that uh, uh, he not only met vladimir putin but uh, india and russia become strategic partners uh, the russian president will be visiting later this uh, year to india it's part of his legacy because now india and russia has uh, an annual summit level meeting which is a legacy he started uh, with and uh, if you talk about neighborhood uh, we we saw that uh, uh, bite by the uh, the uh, former afghan president hamid karzai who said that india has lost a son uh, a son son who was a friend of afghanistan he reached out to afghanistan he reached out to neighborhood his policy of neighborhood was was something which is still not only being talked about but uh, being implemented he changed the nehruvian idea of foreign policy into an idea which uh, is more pragmatic more realistic and something uh, which put india at the center of the entire policy structure of uh, the indian 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 political class Right. Uh, thank you, Dr. Siddhant, for joining us on the program. Uh, we'll keep uh, telling our viewers about uh, the farewell uh, uh, ceremony and the cremation uh, that is due to be taking place in New Delhi in the evening. Yes, uh, a sea of mourners and a sea of humanity has descended uh, on uh, the city of Delhi, and particularly his procession, which has started uh, from his house and will be reaching uh, BJP headquarters shortly. And of course, uh, uh, he is being discussed, uh, and of course, the country is reflecting on his achievement. And newspapers talking about him. He, this is a newspaper, the Times of India, talking about uh, PM, poet, statesman, and a gentleman. Uh, remember, he was a poet also. His lot of uh, poems are really famous and being taught uh, across the across. the country uh, he he was a poet politician and uh, his choice of words uh, were not swat but words he used to use words uh, to to convince the opposition and he believed in amity he believed in peace and that was uh, his his key usp uh, which 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 led to uh, bold decisions uh, uh, with not only us but with the, with pakistan he was a person uh, uh, when the, when the news came of his of his demise uh, pakistan uh, was uh, uh, the first uh, one of the first few countries to react even imran khan the president elect who will be taking over tomorrow uh, also reacted uh, and he said that his uh, peace initiative should be taken uh, the peace bet uh, between the two uh, nuclear rivals in the subcontinent which uh, which makes life of the common man difficult for him the uh, for waspai the common man was the center of his policy and for, uh, he looked uh, the world through through the lens of the common man that is why he was a popular prime minister a prime minister three time prime minister but a long lasting legacy uh, which 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 will be absorbed into the indian policy architecture for a long time that is why this uh, this Uh, this entire uh, uh, development which has happened is a, a, a shocking development for for not only the political class but for the common man that is why the country and not only the country the subcontinent is uh, mourning the loss of this great son of uh, india as the former uh, president of afghanistan hamid karzai has said and we just got a report that uh, even the afghans are now sending a delegation to his cremation which will take place at 4 pm so uh, uh, it's an important development uh, historic of course but the fact that it shows that uh, he had he had uh, uh, an appeal not only in the country but across the region uh, a region which is marred of course by conflicts and wars and 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 and, and lot of policy incoherence but he was a person who believed in making sure that the people come together work together not only in the region but also in the parliament where we usually see acrimonious debates taking place opposition and the treasury benches not working uh, together but he was a person who believed in reaching out to the opposition and uh, believing uh, uh, and believe that the opposition must be taken on board and that legacy is being carried on that is why uh, uh, um, uh, uh, atal bihari vajpayee is a prime minister who will be remembered for a long time there have been many prime minister in the country of in, in this country but atal bihari vajpayee will be will be uh, remembered in the league of indira gandhi and and uh, jawahar lal nehru and, uh, and many other prime ministers but he was a person who this country is going to miss for a pretty pretty long time rightly so a, pr a former prime minister is going to be missed for his uh, prophetic uh, poetic speeches uh, enchanting uh, the world not only in india known for his uh, 
resounding speeches. And Siddhant, uh, you've, been, you've been at the BJP headquarters since morning where his mortal remains will be uh, reaching uh, in uh, some time. Uh, uh, you must have spoken to some of the supporters and the mourners who are present uh, around you. Uh, what are they feeling this morning? Uh, what kind of uh, you know, uh, mood are they in? Of course, uh, a sad, but what have they been telling you and what will be the lasting legacy that they would uh, probably uh, uh, sort of remember about the former Prime Minister? Well, uh, uh, where I am standing, it's not only sea of humanity, but people grieving, grieving the loss of a Prime Minister uh, who, who, who they loved, uh, whose policies benefited them. And, uh, uh, well, uh, most of us, you and me, were like small kids when he was the Prime Minister. And for us, it's it's an impression of a Prime Minister who, who believed in taking bold decisions, a person. Uh, we all remember, we, we of course were kids, but we all remember Lahore Summit. We, we remember Agra Summit. Uh, uh, yes, of course, uh, 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 India was backstabbed by Pakistan, but uh, this was a man, despite leading a coalition government, believed in taking strong decisions because usually it's it's considered that when you're leading a coalition government, it's not easy to take strong decisions. You have to reach out to everyone. But such was the charisma of this person that uh, uh, nobody said no to him. And that is why he had this moderate appeal which everyone liked. And uh, uh, as, as we were discussing uh, uh, that he was a poet, politician, the famous poem by him was, uh, I'll, I'll say two lines, Kaal ke kapal pe likhta mitata hu, geet naya gata hu, which means that on the face of destiny, I erase and I, I, I write again, uh, but I, I sing new song. And that, of course, uh, is the gist of what's going, going to happen and which, what is happening happening right now. Death may have separated Atal Bihari Vajpayee from the rest of the country, but remember his legacy, his actions makes him uh, a person who, who will be remembered throughout uh, uh, throughout the history of modern India for for uh, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for a long time in the textbooks. He will be discussed, his legacy will be absorbed in the Indian policy architecture and that makes a person uh, not away from from the people, but uh, a person who is going to live with us for a long time in, in every policy action which India takes in future course uh, uh, of uh, various events like uh, engaging with the neighborhood or engaging with the uh, world power such as Washington or Russia. So uh, we have seen that uh, the Russian president uh, has uh, written to uh, President Govind, the, the, the Russian ambassador yes, yesterday uh, uh, wrote to the external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj and uh, we have seen uh, how there has been a global outpouring. So Clearly, he was a person who believed in making sure that everyone comes together and that is why we can see uh, that a mass procession right now is taking place with, uh, with the slogans of long live Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Amar Rahe Atal Bihari Vajpayee. I can even hear it uh, from the location where I am standing because uh, just uh, out, uh, away from my camera is, uh, is, is the gate where uh, the, the mourners are standing and they of course are shouting uh, Amar Rahe, long live uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, a Prime Minister which India will surely wish up. Uh, uh, we, uh, will will miss a prime minister, prime minister uh, who uh, right now uh, will be of course his procession is going on he will be committed at 4 p.m right now where i am standing just across this wall uh, the indian prime minister and the president of the ruling bjp uh, party amit shah are present there and uh, we do expect uh, strong visuals uh, strong in a sense because a lot of people who's who as we have been saying who's who of the Indian political class and uh, people from across uh, the world will be coming here paying their homage to a Prime Minister whose legacy uh, is being discussed in every sense possible right now even as we speak uh, across uh, TV channels across newspapers his important legacy will remain on the security architecture because he was a man who, who took a bold decision even though he was leading a coalition government of, uh, of, of doing that nuclear test the Pokhran test which of course the CIA wasn't able to detect despite being uh, rated as one of the best secret agency in the world. So he did that nuclear test and despite the American sanctions, India survived. And today India might be growing 8%. Uh, India is expected to grow faster in coming few years. But people might forget, but this was a person who made sure that India comes here today. Uh, it, it might be uh, not in the memory of many people, especially born after 2000, the new Z generation. We, of course, are the millennials. So they, they, they might not know, but he was a man who is responsible for the fast-paced growth, especially in the IT sector. 
in the telecom sector we all have this uh, tele uh, mobile today on our hands of with, with, without which most of us were, won't even work for a single day but it was it was his legacy that we have the mobile the telecom revolution took place under uh, under his uh, prime ministership of course uh, 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 as as the prime minister he he had the 13 day government 13 month government and then the five year term the first non congress person to lead uh, the five year prime minister uh, prime minister's office uh, but still uh, uh, he was able to manage in the 13 day and the 13 month government that didn't deterred him from uh, making sure that he still becomes the prime minister the first non congress prime minister of uh, the uh, of the of of the country the modern his in the modern history of india so clearly a prime minister who has many first in his names including the fact that as a foreign minister uh, in the janta government he he spoke in hindi at the united nation so uh, so that is why this this man uh, this uh, prime minister is a different person a different man from the rest of the people who might be coming uh, but not making such a mark a mark which uh, which is uh, remembered and will be remembered for a long time Right, so then do stay with us uh, while we continue to keep our focus on that uh, procession taking place in New Delhi. Now, the U.S. envoy to India, Kenneth Juster, spoke to Beyond and listen in to what he said. Former Prime Minister Vajpayee was instrumental in the transformation of the U.S.-India relationship. He called us natural allies. He had. important meetings with president clinton and then with president bush and really helped launch us on the very positive trajectory we have in this relationship today mm -hmm. so he is really a, a critical factor historically and at the time in the us india relationship There we heard a U.S. envoy to India, Kenneth Juster, speak to Sadhan Sibal. There, Sadhan, you spoke to various dignitaries and uh, uh, you know former uh, uh, former dignitaries who've served under uh, former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and uh, with the ambitious uh, beliefs of taking India forward, one of the, uh, one of the icons of independent India's greatest leaders, as you would be called now. Well, definitely, uh, he was a statesman, as uh, the former uh, president of Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, told to Beyond and Parvez Musharraf, uh, a person who. with whom he reached out hoping that the subcontinent will live in peace uh, also spoke to vion he he said that he will be surely missed uh, uh, both of course uh, tried their level best uh, the prime minister of uh, the then prime minister of india atal bihari uh, vajpayee did his level best uh, that road to Lah uh, that bus to lahore and uh, uh, the the uh, the loc uh, hoping that it becomes a soft border but of course uh, pakistan had its own dynamics with the army uh, and the of course the civilian government not on the same page Leading to the kargil war but in the kargil war uh, interesting uh, 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 anecdote i would like to tell that uh, uh, when uh, americans uh, try to uh, try to uh, uh, help new delhi and uh, islamabad to uh, solve the dispute because new delhi was uh, had drawn a re red line that they of course will defend its land to the core to Uh, to make sure that the intruders leave the area and uh, clinton had to call the then prime minister of pakistan nawaz sharif and and persuade him that uh, enough is enough and then clinton again called uh, uh, atal bihari vajpayee and said that the talks uh, have been done and of course uh, there will be peace soon but this shows the power back then when india wasn't considered a great player in the global uh, world order uh, this of course looks very normal today the world power of india is recognized by everyone but back then in 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 like 20 years ago doing that was simply impossible because of uh, the then prime minister atal bihari vajpayee's charisma reaching out to the clinton administration the bush administration that this happened but uh, i also had a chance to speak with the former foreign secretary who was the foreign secretary under uh, the uh, prime ministership of atal bihari vajpayee lalit man singh who, who gave me anecdotes of how he was a foodie he loved chinese food uh, and uh, wherever he used to go the bureaucrat 
Brooks, who used to have good time in the sense that he was not very hard on bureaucrats. He was not very uh, that I, I need to do this, I need to do that. But he was very really a, a soft-spoken person. He used to listen to everyone and then take a, a decision. And decision taken in a few sentences, in few words, and spoken in a, uh, a, a manner which is easily absorbed and not taken as some way uh, by, by a someone who is high up on the hierarchy. His peace initiatives in Kashmir, uh, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, when he was speaking from the ramparts of uh, the Red Fort uh, just a few days ago, talked about that uh, Kashmiriyat, Insaniyat and Jamuriyat words that of course become part of the Indian policy making. I was, as I was telling you, uh, his peace initiatives in Kashmir uh, made him a very popular person in Kashmir and still he is being remembered uh, in Kashmir and that is why Mehbooba Mufti, uh, Omar Abdullah, his father Farooq Abdullah, uh, all will be there at the cremation when it, it takes place at 4 p.m. So uh, when it comes to internally also in has internal security architecture, he will be remembered very well. So clearly a person who believed in taking bold decision and he, for him life was a, 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 a place where he uh, believe that optimism and hope is, are the only two pillars and that is why many of the people who I have been talking to, to they have been saying that he used to be a person, very cheerful person. Right, uh, Siddhant, uh, do stay with us and we'll continue our coverage uh, of this funeral procession of former Prime Minister Adal Bihari Vajpayee, their live visual is coming in uh, from New Delhi, where his mortal remains will be uh, soon reaching the BJP headquarters. Now, a four-member Pakistani delegation led by Pakistan's Information Minister Sayed Ali Zafar will also attend uh, Adal Bihari Vajpayee's funeral today. Anas Malik, a bureau chief from Islamabad, uh, joins us on the program as well. Uh, Anas, as we've been uh, reporting uh, that uh, Mr. Saeed Ali Zafar will also be attending Atal Bihari Vajpayee's funeral. And of course, uh, Pakistan also paid uh, its tribute yesterday to former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, calling him and hailing him as a statesman. And, uh, and the fact that he will be a renowned statesman who contributed to bringing a change uh, in the India-Pakistan relationships and also saying that he remained a key supporter of uh, the SARC and regional cooperation development. Absolutely, Jessica, this is a major development that is coming in from Pakistan. That Pakistan has formally uh, went on and decided to honor the legacy of uh, uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee and pay tribute to him. It is a major development that is coming in from uh, when it comes to India-Pakistan side. Uh, Pakistan is sending a four-member delegation uh, uh, to India that is likely to fly in about an hour and a half from now uh, from Islamabad to, to New Delhi via a special flight. Now, this is something very significant primarily because uh, there hasn't uh, there hasn't been any headway lately uh, in uh, India-Pakistan at all. And in, in, in amidst all of this, this diplomatic development coming in that uh, Pakistan honoring uh, the former uh, Prime Minister of India who, and his bid uh, to ensure uh, India-Pakistan ties go to normalcy, uh, that is a major development. And the fact that uh, there's, uh, there's a four-member delega delegation that would be led. Uh, yesterday, the, uh, the President of Pakistan, Mamnoon Hussain, he also wrote to the pre uh, President of uh, India and he condoled the death of uh, uh, Tal Bihari Vajpayee. He saw the Prime Minister designate Imran Khan. He also issued a similar statement. And he said that uh, uh, we can honor the legacy of Atal Bihari Vajpayee late uh, by ensuring peace between Pakistan and India. Uh, so now, uh, and, and uh, amidst all of this, this decision coming in uh, from the government of Pakistan, a uh, government level decision to honor and uh, to commemorate and to send a delegation at the funeral is something. Significant. Yes, Jessica. Absolutely, uh, Anas. Uh, the four member delegation will be visiting uh, India to attend uh, the funeral of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. And certainly, Mr. Vajpayee will be remembered as a thorough politician who did uh, make uh, many attempts in brokering uh, peace between the two nations in the past as well, isn't it? There have been many attempts, and especially uh, uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee's tenure would be remembered, especially uh, in that uh, uh, context of the, uh, that unfortunate uh, Kargil war that two countries fought. And after that, we saw that chain of events. 
Uh, in fact, uh, Parvez Musharraf has also quoted that uh, the Indian High Commissioner, that unfortunate IRC 8414 attempt, uh, the hijacked uh, the plane. Uh, uh, the Indian High Commissioner was only given uh, the, uh, the helicopter as requested by the Indian government on the request of Vajpayee. And had he not requested that that wouldn't have been the case. So uh, obviously we, we see a lot of prospects in there. Also, what also has to be kept in mind that the current uh, ceasefire agreement between Pakistan and India over the line of control, the international border and the working boundary, it was done during this uh, the same uh, uh, watch by tenure as well, the 2003 the, uh, ceasefire uh, agreement. And then additionally, uh, what also uh, we, forget, uh, we forget is that Agra Summit, the Lahore Declaration, so in terms of uh, in terms of uh, his the part that he tried to do to normalize the relations, he certainly did uh, more than what we were expecting, and it is the, it is what we are seeing uh, the, the 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 amount the amount of uh, uh, the pressure of uh, uh, of the air of peace that we're currently in. It is with thanks to uh, 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 the former prime minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Yes. Right, thank you, Anas, uh, for all the details and updates there. And so, Dan Sibyl continues uh, to uh, give us updates on uh, the funeral procession uh, that you see on your TV screens. Former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, is being taken to the mortal remains of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, are being taken to the BJP headquarters in New Delhi. He'll be cremated in the evening around 4 p.m. India time. And Siddhant, as many have been calling uh, him, uh, his demise as an end of an era, a leader with no enemies, where Mother India has lost a great son. Well, as they say, Ajat Shatru, that means a person who has no enemies. But politics will never be the same again after the demise of the former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, who had uh, appeal across party lines, uh, and uh, not only party lines, but across uh, the subcontinent and uh, major capitals of the world, whether it's Washington, London, or uh, Russia. But this piece of news coming in, uh, which have been, we have been told, is that the Haryana and uh, the Chief Minister of uh, Himachal Pradesh are all also present here so it shows more and more chief minister are likely to come here and pay their homage to the great statesman as the former president of Afghanistan spoke to Vion Hamid Karzai and said that he was a statesman and a great son of India and a friend of Afghanistan remember when uh, the uh, the former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee his, his, his tenure from 1992 2004 was uh, the world saw a lot of events. The world saw events which which completely changed the the future course of the world. And the world order is still changing. But events such as 9/11 uh, was a landmark event. And then after that, the fallout, uh, security fallout, was a major one. We saw that uh, attack in the parliament. We saw the attack at the Srinagar uh, assembly, which of course uh, uh, attacks which uh, made sure that our security uh, 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 architecture changes the security in the country and outside the defenses uh, were changing and it happened under the Prime Ministership of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Though there were uh, other events such as hijacking of uh, the IC-814 and after that there were uh, they, they, uh, there were a lot of measures which made sure that such an event is, such an unfortunate event is not repeated and if you go to very, uh, Nepal airport today, uh, well there are two layers of security today there. First of course the local uh, Nepali security at the airport but when you are to board the plane there, uh, there is another security which is being done by the Indian people. That today is an outcome of that unfortunate event. But uh, a legacy uh, that was uh, to make sure that such an event does not take place in the future. But other than that, uh, the positives and negatives, it's a, a legacy which is being remembered today. And even as you speak, the crowd is only getting thicker and thicker here at the BJP headquarters, inside it also, because of course security is... Uh, uh, very high here, a lot of police presence and of course uh, we can see police presence
presence also on the adjacent building to the building where I am standing. So this, uh, the crowd, of course, is getting thickened, but uh, yeah, the security is being kept at a, a level where it doesn't cause inconvenience to the people who want to pay homage to the departed leader whose body will be arriving here and kept in this building where the Indian Prime Minister and the BJP President, the ruling BJP President, Amit Shah, is already present. But uh, other than that, the focus will be on, uh, on his legacy and we do expect more global reaction to come as the day progresses. Uh, we, we have already seen the, uh, uh, the former President of Pakistan and the former President of Afghanistan speaking to Vion and uh, the uh, President of uh, Russia uh, writing to the Indian President Kovind on the demise of the former Prime Minister Atil Bihari Vajpayee. That shows the, the appeal this person has and right now a lot of people uh, as you can see on your visual screens on your screens are, are, are lining up uh, for the procession which is about to arrive here at the BJP headquarters in few moments uh, in few minutes and uh, will be kept here for, for, for people to come and pay homage and from this place a big procession will take place which will start and it will take approximately few hours to reach uh, to that place Miti Stal, which is not far from this location but the amount of people who have come the, the, the supporters the mourners who have come uh, the people who want to pay their respects uh, it shows that uh, uh, that uh, it, it it not only will uh, uh, delay the procession but of course it shows that people would like to bid farewell their their beloved leader a leader who they loved and uh, right now i can be very sure that a lot of people who are watching the procession might be crying watching the television screens because uh, they they really associated with that person they might not have met this person but they were impacted by the policies taken by this person uh, who imp uh, who who make sure that the last person who is standing in the line gets the benefit of the government policies and is under the ambit of the government's policies. So that is why this person is uh, is not only being uh, remembered here, but of course being grieved also, his demise being grieved by the entire nation. Right. Uh, Sidan, do continue to stay with us. We also spoke with former Raw Chief A.S. Dulat on Vajpayee's foreign policy. Listen in to what he said. Vajpayee believed that this permanent confrontation with Pakistan has to end and that we have to move forward in Kashmir. And in Kashmir, he is revered today, you know, and he, he will be very, very sorely missed whenever it, the time comes because his, his uh, Kashmiriyat, Insaniyat, Jamuriyat is still talked about. And Kashmiris today, when Kashmir is in a, in a mess or hurtling downward, Kashmiris say, if only there was Vajpayee. So he, he was a very great man. You know, I, sometimes I think that what if he had not lost the 2004 election? And, or what, as you said, he had been prime minister when he was foreign minister with Murarji Desai. Kya baat thi tab? So, you know, there are so many things one can say. Uh, for me, it was a privilege to have known the great man, to have watched him closely, and I learned a lot from him. You know, he treated all of us in the PMO like family. And for us, his family was like our own family. Uh, you know, in the family, they used to address him fondly as Babji. And that's the way we always thought of him. That was former Raw Chief A.S. Dulat speaking to Vian and Sadant, you heard him, he, he talks about how Mr. Vajpayee treated uh, his in, entire, in fact, uh, official delegation as his own family when it came to Kashmir. Uh, he profoundly remembers how it was uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Vajpayee who, uh, in fact, will be remembered by Kashmiris uh, for trying to enable peace in the valley. And at last, Mr. Dulat says that if, if only there was Mr. Vajpayee, that is what in, at least the Kashmiris at this point in time will remember him for. Well, uh, definitely uh, for Kashmir, he was uh, a person who, who, who brought uh, Kashmir together and of course he believed in insaniyat, jamuriyat uh, and uh, uh, his philosophy is being talked today and will be 
talked for a pretty long time but as you can see on your screen uh, that the long convoy of uh, the former prime minister uh, uh, whose body is kept in the convoy is now passing through the streets of delhi where many are now expected to to pay their uh, last uh, uh, their homage to the former prime minister and uh, one thing i can uh, tell you that uh, the sea of humanity is also increasing here but of course lot of people uh, uh, who are in white uh, 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 can be seen here uh, at the bjp headquarters the the the, the procession is uh, expected to reach very very soon here at the location where uh, we can uh, we can expect a lot of people paying their homage and there you can see on your screen uh, uh, the convoy moving at a slow pace but uh, of course uh, uh, it, it's it's part of the tradition but uh, the, uh, the 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 car where the, the the truck where he has been kept uh, is decked up with flowers and and uh, other ceremonial uh, things and uh, we do expect uh, the procession to reach at the bjp headquarters very very soon and uh, where people will be paying their homage but as i was telling you uh, his 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 strong uh, imprint on the indian policy making his strong uh, imprint on the indian foreign policy will remain and will be remembered for a long long time uh, 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 an imprint that uh, that 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 has become part of the policy decision that has become the pol uh, part of policy formulation and uh, that is why the 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 pakistanis are also sending a four member delegation uh, they are sending their acting information minister here uh, to pay uh his 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 tributes pay his homage to to the to the people uh, uh, the to to the former prime minister along with the people of, uh, of uh, the the pakistan pakistani state also we saw that tweet also by the foreign ministry of pakistan that saying that jang nahi karenge that means we will not let war happen it shows that uh, uh, atal bihari vajpayee had an appeal not only here in india but also in pakistan where lot of people are right now remembering him his these initiatives were really welcomed in pakistan but we know that the configuration of pakistan is such that uh, the civilian government and the military will never be on the same page of course this time around we have imran khan and he is considered to be a selection by the pakistani state but uh, because of the lack of coherence between policy making by the military and the civilian government we saw kargil happening uh, but by and large atal bihari vajpayee is a person who will be remembered fondly in pakistan we saw the former president of uh, of of pakistan parvez musharraf uh, uh, talking with vion greatly and telling about it uh, uh, telling how he is a great states person and a person who who was responsible who uh, in a sense he who believed in peace uh, uh, in the subcontinent between india and islamabad between new delhi and islamabad uh, but his peace with uh, uh, with uh, countries uh, across uh, the region his neighborhood first policy was uh, was uh, was a thing which is still loved in the capitals uh, such as uh, um, nepal um, in in pakistan in sri lanka and uh, we saw condolences message uh, from maldives also from sri lanka also uh, coming in uh, and uh, sri lanka is even sending a delegation uh, to uh, new delhi for the cremation and afghans are also sending a delegation so uh, clearly uh, right now it shows a mass appeal of a person who will be not only loved by the people of india but uh, had a appeal across the classes and the masses of uh, this uh, country and uh, uh, there you can see uh, the the uh, convoy is just about to enter the uh, the bjp headquarters you can see that white uh, entrance uh, after that uh, just two minutes away from that white entrance is the bjp headquarters where i am standing inside it and once it reaches inside the body will be taken inside the headquarters where it will be kept uh, for people to come and pay their homage to the departed prime minister prime minister who is much loved by the people of the country the people of the subcontinent and across the world capitals because of his diplomatic ventures ventures which believed in peace remember after the pokhran many believed that uh, uh, that could lead to nuclearization of the subcontinent because both india and pakistan now have nuclear bombs and that makes it the most dangerous place in the world but he made sure that this thing does not this perception does not last long and 
he was the person who 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 went uh, who reached out to Pakistan, who reached out to China, and made sure that they don't have this anxiety that India is their enemy. He believed that uh, you can uh, change uh, your friends, but you can't change your neighbors, and you have to live with your neighbors. And that is what the core that was the core of his policy, and that is why uh, he reached out. To the, uh, the the neighborhood and uh, made sure that they don't have this perception or any kind of anxiety with India. He believed in a common growth uh, both uh, in the country uh, and outside the region, and that is why he's a prime minister who's who's loved by everyone in the country and outside the country. Absolutely, uh, Siddhant, he will be remembered as a leader. And, uh, you know, who attempted to solve uh, big problems of his time. And the country will forever honor his accomplishments. Thank you, Siddhartha, for giving us all those details. We'll continue to keep our focus on this uh, uh, funeral procession of the former Prime Minister, Rivyari Vajpayee.